he, he, that's even t- dumb for him. Yeah. He can just understand. But I like what you guys were saying the other day. Like, he can't understand someone being liked like yeah. Dr. Steve. He doesn't have that in him. He's never experienced it. He's never felt it, really, for anybody else. So he doesn't understand that Steve is a genuinely good guy. He takes care of people without wanting anything in return. And this guy extorts him. Like, you apologize or it's your your license or, you know, your medical career. So, yeah, if there are any pests that are, are left that left their... Um, their uh, computers and, oh. and fax machines in cement <laughs> under their basement to dig up when, when the kid hits the van like John Wick. Hell yeah. uh, now's the time to do it. Unleash, oh, release the fucking Kraken. And then he, he j- tries to intimidate he, uh, Dr. Steve into apologizing to him. This guy's just a... He, he finds new ways to be a piece of fucking shit to everyone. And I don't accept Dr. Steve's apology. I don't accept it. So oh. uh, any pests left, you got your, your goatee got a little grayer pests. You, know, you, you lost a little of your hair from the 90s and 2000s. But if you are out there, whatever you used to do, to fucking annoy the shit out of people. Aim it right at that fucking asshole. Right here. Care of Anthony Cumia and Dr. Steve. Even though Steve's not a part of it. Not a part of it, but full speed ahead. Damn the torpedoes. <laughs> That's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's the best.